girls went off on their evening walk, they just walk around the loop, takes a few minutes. Next thing, Rose came running back, said we need to come and get Georgie. She had fallen over, she couldn't get back up. Our neighbours had called triple zero, and when I got there and saw she was unresponsive, I began CPR. The scene when we arrived was we had a mother doing CPR on her daughter on her neighbour's doorstep. I kept going until I was told to stop and I believe the fires were told to take over while um, the ambulance officers got set up. We took over the, the actual doing the compression so that the paramedic, uh, one was drawing up drugs and yeah, the other one so that they could actually start putting an airway in. We're here today to say thank you to the amazing paramedics. I can never say thank you enough for what you did. Um, but yeah. That's why Georgie's here with us. You guys do an amazing yeah. job. I think she was the hero of the day. Absolutely. Absolutely. What the mother did is what saved Georgie's life. 100%. We're not going to be there straight away, so having somebody be able to start that CPR and keep that oxygen going around the body until we can get there with our more advanced interventions is crucial. If it's early CPR and effective CPR, then it just makes our treatment so much more effective. I have yearly training for my job, and I had actually been at my first aid course that day. So, yeah, just a couple of hours beforehand, <laughs> I had my refresher. Being able to do that for somebody in your community is just, yeah, I don't think there's anything better. It might not be for your family, but for someone else, like they're saying, yeah, could be your next door neighbour, could be anyone at the shops, you know, you just don't know. It's hard for me because I really had no idea what to do about that scene, that situation. So that's why I'm, I'm going to do it yearly now.